Why does he freak out like such a faggot? He makes me never want to have a girlfriend. Oh. He definitely does not wear the pants in that relationship. Oh, pants? He wears girls' underwears. <laughs> Get up, dude. You look like an asshole. What are you doing? Lauren's gone, man. This is all I have left of her. This is it. It's over. Don't worry. It's not like you're going to never meet another girl in your whole life, you know? Plus, she sucked anyway. She never even let you hang out with us. Dude, you don't understand. Two years. Two years we're together. Every morning she'd wake up right next to me making me breakfast and stuff, going on picnics, and then she pulls this, I need some time alone, which basically means I'm a pathetic nobody and she wants to find someone more interesting. What do you want to do? You want to go to 15 North and get drunk or something? That always makes me feel better. And we'll scam on some really nasty sluts. Oh, I'm down with that. I know you are. That's why I said it. I've hit rock bottom. The only thing liquor can do is possibly bring me down more. It is so over this time. You know how many times we've heard you say that? It is so over this time. Val, look at me. It's done. Did you call her? Maybe. Maybe? Did you call her or didn't you? Yeah. How many times? Five? I don't know, dude. Ten? Could be. I don't oh know. Oh my god. He called dude, her ten Christ. fucking times. I just need some time to think, all right? Yeah, you do, and so do we. We're going out of here. Yeah. You gotta stop being such a pussy, Red Wings. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, he doesn't, like, have any idea, does he? I mean, she's fucked over 80% of Westchester. And each time she does somebody, she gives 110% because she loves it so much. Yeah, that's, that's just word of mouth. You don't know that for sure, though. I've seen her sit on dick at the dance floor, huh? Squat on it like she wants it so bad, like nothing else. No, the else. dude's come up to her. It's not like she's getting eaten out on stage for 311 tickets. What? What are you doing? Invention of the future contest. First place prize, a mountain bike man of diamonds. <laughs> yeah, and what's second place? A friendly smile and a handshake? Let's go. It's for 11-teen-year-olds. Come on. Let's go. I already made an invention for the future. I made that reverse microwave. Remember that shit? I need to put the Freon in it to get it to work, huh? It makes, like, ice so fast. It makes, like, beer icy cold and pizza too hot makes it a little bit colder so you don't burn the roof of your mouth. I made that shit already. This is fifth grade shit. Let's go. Come on. Let's go to the coffee shop. We have better things to do. Fuck you. That's what I'm going to say. I'm doing this. I'm going to do this right now, as a matter of fact, while you go get your coffee. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I'm kidding you. Watch how kidding I am. I'm going to do this right now. You're Let's... seriously leaving to go do this? What the hell is wrong with all my friends, man? Not... Did you call? Uh, no, I just came in the door. I was out golfing. That's funny. I just came in and your number was on caller ID about 10 times. Uh, no, I don't, I don't 
I don't know anything about it. It wasn't me. Good then. Okay, so I'll talk to you later. What are you in such a hurry for? Where are you going? I'm actually trying to watch a movie. What, by yourself? No. Someone's here to watch it with me. Who's there? God, it doesn't matter. We're not even together anymore. Why are you doing this to me? Doing what to you? Who's there? You don't need to know. Just fucking tell me. I met him at the bowling alley. I'll give you that. The bowling alley? It's pretty white trash, isn't it, Lauren? What, he come up to you smell like beer hitting on you? No. Actually, I walked up and talked to him. I noticed his tattoos. Tattoos? What, he's got some gnarly battleship on his arm? No. But he does have a rhino and, you know, you know, I'm Leo, so I like rhinos. And yeah, yeah. Rhino. Real cool. So, uh, what's this guy's name? His name is Steven, but everybody calls him Hellboy. Hellboy? You left me for someone named fucking Hellboy? What the hell is the matter with you? So, uh, what did you and Hellboy do together, or shall I ask, what did he do to you? Well, we didn't sleep together, if that's what you mean. It's been four fucking days. What are you, making this guy wait it out, being tough on him, huh? Pat yourself on the back. Real class act. Give your mom a call. She'll be proud. You're a total asshole. Why don't you just tell this asshole what you and Hellboy did together? Fine. The other night, we went to the beach, and he fingered me. He what? Hellboy fucking fingered me! She got fingered! Would you calm down? There's fucking people here. Who fingered who? His name is Hellboy. Hellboy. His name is Hellboy? It's all I'm thinking about. I can't get it out of my head. Everywhere I look, I just picture it. There's gotta be a fucking fiver in here somewhere. Don't worry about anything. The girls are a dime a dozen. You find another one yet? you do? He was making fun of me. No, he wasn't. He even made eye contact with you. What are you talking about? Apologize to him. I'm sorry. God I'm sorry. damn. Look at me. Fuck that bitch, man. Fuck her. Look what she's doing to you. You're attacking people that didn't even look at you. I want to know what'll make you feel better right now. I want you to fuck up Lauren's house. I'm not in third grade. I'm not going to do that. No. I will pay you $100. I'll pay Falcone $100, too. You know he's got all those chemicals and shit. He can cause some long-term damage. All right, you're an idiot. But right now, we're going to get some coffee and relax. All right, dude, seriously, just relax, okay? Look at that girl over there. She's reading a book alone. If that's not an invitation, I don't know what is. What are you talking about, Val? It's a coffee shop. People like that come here to get away from people like us. She is looking for ass. I can see it. What does it matter? I look like shit. Go talk to her. What am I going to say? I don't know. Compliment her on that tattoo or something. Yeah, that'll work. It sounds so fucking lame. Work for Glarin. I'm so sorry. I've been having the worst day. Yeah, I can see that. Long story, you probably don't want to hear about it. No, probably not. It's a nice tattoo you got. What does that mean? It means desire. Desire, huh? Mm -hmm. What the fuck does that mean? Does that mean you and the dudes with fucking long hair, smell like beer, have shitty tattoos? Maybe they hang out at the bowling alley. Maybe, just maybe, you'll go out back, rub their sick crotch, he'll stick his hands on your pants. Meanwhile, your boyfriend's sitting at home jerking off the fucking gay porn! Ah! Love is a flame that can be tamed And though we are its willing prey My darling to blame. Trust is a word, all love is 
snow The glorious art of staining shows My darling We are not the ones to blame Falcon. 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 Come on, fucko, you can't answer me? Shut the fuck up, huh? Let me guess, the backwards microwave? Reverse microwave. Listen, Ryan's at it again. He just got stabbed in the eye with a fork at the coffee shop, and now he's got to rock a pirate patch for at least a month. It's ridiculous. But anyway, he wants us to fuck up Glarn's house. I don't know what it's going to prove, but I told him I'd do it with your help. You know what? 70%? of the world's Freon can be found in old refrigerators. Are you gonna help or not? <laughs> Fuck no, I'm not going to help you. All right, fine. Looks like I'm gonna keep the other $100 for myself. Buy a, quite a bit of Freon, but... Oh, the $100? Yeah. $100 each? Yeah, but looks like I'm gonna have 200 now. I could get some Freon with that, or like, make this place look better. You wanna do it? Yeah, yeah, come in. <laughs> Get the shit in the gas tank. Oh. Shut up. I've got something for fucking you, huh? Take these. Take them. Ew. Take this fucking duct tape. And smear it all over the garage door and duct tape the shit logs everywhere. Whose shit is this? I got it from Don Vito. I stole it. Oh. I like chocolate. I like fudge. I'll make some now or I won't budge. I don't have any gloves. Neither do I. Fuck on it. This is seriously fucking disgusting. What's the problem, huh? I don't want to fuck with Don Vito's shit. At least you know whose it is. Let me show you how to do it. Fucking pussy. Here, I'll tape it. Look at that, huh? Let me get it. Oh, that's my hand. Masterpiece. Hand me the down. Let's get another. <laughs> There's like nothing. <laughs> Here, let's get this one. Tape it up there. All right, I'm going up to the roof. Smear this around and smudge and all that, okay? I'm going to Subarize upstairs. Subarize? Yeah, I'm going to the roof, remember? Okay.
Hey, hey, pussy. <laughs> I'm taking care of business all up here. <laughs> Shit, here they come. Get out of it. What? Fuck! I gotta fucking pit. Fuck. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> You're such a major boy, Hellboy. What are you doing? I was just taking a nap, so how'd it go? How'd it go? It went beautifully. Fuck you. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, well your fucking brilliant plan just got me pissed on by Hellboy's sick dick. Thanks. Where's the money, huh? Come on, Jeez, don't hold out. This is with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I should have your goddamn share too. <laughs> My share? This money's not for you, huh? This is all mine. So what'd you guys do? Wait, what the fuck did you do? What? You what? You have a fucking rhinoceros tattooed <laughs> to your chest. Why? I just went and got it tattooed. It looks for goddamn ridiculous. Are you serious? Why did you do that? I like rhinos. You don't like rhinos? You got it because Glorin likes that shit. Glorin never even mentioned a rhino. I've always liked rhinos. You know that. You are fucking pathetic. Jeez, with you fucking people. Let it go. I'm going up and get some booze. You coming? Yeah, I'm going to drink, but I'm not going with you. Because you're a whipped ass bitch. Drinking from the battle again like a pussy, huh? Just fuck it, that's why. Yo, man, you got a ciggy? Thanks, man. Oh. Look at you, you're miserable. Us fucking up Glorin's house didn't do a goddamn thing. You're still acting like an asshole. See, your big problem is you have a jealous nature. You get jealous of shit that doesn't even matter. It's a huge turnoff for girls. I don't know why you're telling this. You're just pissing them off even more. Oh, I'm just trying to be logical. <laughs> Hey, when was the last time you beat off? What? When was the last time you beat off? I didn't have to, I had Glorin. All right, well now you don't have Glorin, so I just you rub one out. I don't have any material or anything. <laughs> Use your imagination, all right? Yeah. Use your imagination, huh? Maybe you could use, like, your own ass, or, like, you know? Beat the fuck off to that or something, huh? Check it out. Yeah. My own ass. My girlfriend is dating someone named Hellboy, 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 Hellboy. Look in the mirror and tell yourself you're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit.
are supposed to stand around. Maybe we'll do everything for us. That sounds good to me. <laughs> exactly. All right, you coming in three weeks? Three weeks, I'll see you. Absolutely. Nice. Thank Thanks, you. Jake. All right, I'll see you. Okay. Excuse me. What the fuck was that guy? You're an idiot. Did you fuck him? I got a two o'clock. I am your two o'clock. You're a hairdresser. I got bad hair and I need you to cut it. You're an asshole. Get that thing off me. You know I hate those things. Do it without. You're such a pig. Fine. You look beautiful today. <laughs> you look like shit. Gee, thanks. Why do you think I'm in here? I'm getting my haircut. I know I look like shit. <laughs> the haircut's not going to help people staring at you with that ridiculous eye patch on. What the hell happened? What are you wearing that for? Some girl stabbing the eye by accident. It's going to be off a few days. It's not a big deal. Get over it. Whatever. You know what? Why are you really here? Because I know it's not for a haircut. You said you just need a little bit of time. It's been like four days. You ever going to call? I just don't have time in my life for some hack-ass pirate right now. Just because I have an eye patch on doesn't make me a pirate, all right? Yeah. Oh, you'd rather hang out with some stupid pecking? Guy hangs out at a bowling alley, jerks off stale fish? You know what? I get all the free games I want. What could you give me right now? Well, I don't know if I can compete with free games and all, but how about my utter devotion to you? Oh, you know what? That's so overrated. What I need right now is heavy metal music, hard drinking, mayhem, shit you can't offer me right now, okay, Ryan? Who are you? You don't even like fast music. You don't even drink. Yeah, it's before I met Hellboy. You know what your problem is? You always want shit to stay the same, okay? I need to get out there. I want to play the field of dicks. Ew! Oh my god. Wait. Like, you're a different Ryan. person now. I don't even know who you are. Ryan. I loved you, Glorin. I, Brian, I'm. Just fuck off. Dip shit. Great. You picked the wrong motherfucker to fuck with. Wow. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone, listen up. I want to see some order, and I want to see blood. I want to see guts. You, you call that stabbing and slicing? You call that killing? You're being such a pussy wussy. I didn't get you all out here just to feed your lunch, just to sit on your ass, huh? Okay, scene production two, number four, Black Oscar one, seven, take five. And we're rolling. All right, tie the girls up. Get her on the track. Now make it look good, huh? Work her there. Get a little titty fill. Yeah, that looks like you really want to help her, huh? Get your hands off her tits. Come on, I'm being sarcastic here. What are you guys doing, humping on the caboose? I'm sick of this, huh? You know what this means? That means everyone started and no one even started. It's still rolling. What the fuck is going on with that? I can't believe any of you guys aren't even paying attention to me. Hey, come on. Idiots. I swear to God, if I wasn't out of Freon, I'd be making the reverse right and right now I gotta do this shit with your four-year-olds. Come on, everyone. Let's pay attention. All right, signal explosives. Now. Oh, that looks so good, everyone. Excellent right there. Here comes the train now. That looks good, ah, so good, yeah, all right. Cut, print that, it's a wrap. Who's this guy that's always out here? It's Dooley, why? I don't know, he's so shady. Always has uh, money and being so sneaky, you know? Yeah, but he's a good dude to have on your side because he'd help you out in any kind of bind, so just fake like you're friends with him if he tries to talk to you. Hey, later on, you wanna go uh, to the bakery, huh? I can almost taste it with my nose. Ever feel that way? Cause we can go there. We can go in a car, huh? How would you like that? What are you talking about? You don't have a car, neither do I. 
I know just where to get a car, huh? My cousin. I'm picking him up. You can come with me and we'll take the car together. What? Do not tell me it's Rab. Yeah, why? I hate that kid, that's why. It's a car. I don't care if it's a car. I don't care if it's a goddamn Batmobile. I don't want to drive with him. You don't want to pick him up? Hell no. Well, then I'll just pick him up by myself. Well, good for you. Fine, I'll take my bicycle and pick him up. Well done, yeah. Fine. I'll see you later then, right? Yeah, not with Rab, you won't. <laughs> What's up, dude? What's up, sweetheart? Bro, why weren't you at the Rager last night? What Rager? Maybe because you didn't call me up and invite me. Watch your mouth, sweetheart. This two-way connects us. I called you, you never returned my call. Yeah, things air in the leather pinata. Come on now. I don't want to be involved with that. Who was there? Like, so many hot dudes with tight pants on and, uh, Rise friend, that chick, what's her name? Who, Glarn? Yeah, Glarn. Glarn was there. Yeah, she was there. What was she doing? She was locked in the bathroom for like two and a half hours with some dude with tight pants and long hair. That's probably Hellboy. Brad. Yeah. Brian's gonna be super psyched on that. He's sitting in his room right now, bumming. Naked Dave's a true player. Go to Naked Dave's and he can put you down with what to do and what to say. Why? What, what is he? You know, he's got girls. I mean, he puts the claw up and girls surround. All right, well, I'm going to talk to Naked Dave then. All right, bro. All right. Good seeing you, man. Love you, sweetheart. He felt good. What's up? How was the train ride? It's all right. I had a few mixed drinks along the way, so it went fast. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, what do you want me to do? You want me to hop on the peg? Yeah, but uh, you won't have to once we get your car. Oh, my car, ever since that accident, somebody's been spray painting on it. Uh, wow. Yo, uh, remember uh, that cat you used to have? Oh, huh? Kiki. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, I yeah. like that cat so oh, much. Oh, man, I miss that cat. No one's been there to take care of her. I forever. love her so. When are we going to get there? What's up, bro? How are you doing? Chill. Naked Dave in here? Yeah, what up? Hey, yo, nigga, day. What's going on? So what brings you to my humble abode today? You know my buddy Ryan? He broke up with his girlfriend. He's not taking it too well. She just got fingered at the beach by some dude named Hellboy, and he can't eat or sleep, and I just want to get him out of the house and make him do something constructive, you know what I mean? And I ran into Dooley. He told me to come to you. Alright, you try breaking bottles behind Wawa? What the fuck is that gonna do? Yep, yeah, call up Dede. Dig some holes, burn wood. How far do you dig? I mean, what do you do while the wood's burning? It just doesn't make sense to me. See, dog, you gotta look at life, right? You gotta take it into perspective. It's all about freedom. You ever felt a cold breeze blow against your cock and balls? Now that's freedom. <laughs> All right, so you think I should break bottles behind Wawa then? All right. All right. Take it easy. Take it easy. Damn, boy. That is. Oh shit! Fuck yeah! Oh! What? Yeah! 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 So, how's school going, Reb? Oh, wow, not so good. I mean, I lost my schedule at the beginning of the semester, and I uh, couldn't even find out where my class were for like a month and a half. Uh, I ended up getting three days and an half. I mean, it's not that bad considering I passed. Why didn't you just go get another schedule at the advising office? 
What do you mean they give you one? That's it. Anyway, I'm making this invention, and uh, I need, like, Freon from old refrigerators, so keep an eye out. It's this uh, reverse microwave I'm making. Oh, man, it makes things cool real fast. So, so you're, ma you're making some invention that can make stuff cold, like, really fast? That's what I just said. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, 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 these vowels still hate me? Dude, I'm cool with everybody, but your cousin, man, I don't know what it is about him. His voice, <laughs> his laugh, <laughs> his goddamn stupidity, what? that fucking noise he makes. Oh, yeah. What is that anyway? I just can't deal. Remember when we went to that party with him? And like, it was so crazy, and there was these girls, and you made him fall on his face? No, 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 he was doing an inverted keg stand, and he looked ridiculous, and people were laughing at him, <laughs> so I made him drop in and fall on his face, so people were laughing with him, not at him. I was trying to help you out. No, it doesn't hate you at all. He's just that way with everybody. Uh, uh okay. Throw that booze away. You gotta do something positive. You have to break bottles by a Wawa. Where do you come up with this shit? Naked Dave. Naked Dave. And you listen to him. You're stupider than I thought. I think it's a damn good idea. I believe you're an idiot. You gotta get that aggression out, man. Break some bottles. I'm getting the aggression out drinking. And it's working just fine. That's such a negative, shitty way, though. And you've been doing it for so long. Throw that bottle away and let's go break some real bottles. Why don't I finish off this, and then I can break this bottle, too? Well, I'll just look at it, pick it up, and throw it. It's fucking not gonna change a thing, dude. Yeah, neither did us fucking up Glarin's house, but you wanted us to do that, now I want you to do this. Pick it up and throw it. That was the most pussified attempt I've ever seen. Look at you, I didn't want to throw it. Bullshit, pick it up and wail it. Pick it up, whale. There you go. Yeah, now do it again. There it is. Listen, I'm gonna go piss. You keep that shit up, all right? There you go. Put the bottle down. What the hell are you doing? Before you go any further, I take full responsibility for everything. It's not his fault. I was back there pissing, you could take me in. I didn't get to complain about someone back there pissing. I gotta complain about someone back here breaking bottles. And I gotta take you in. No, oh, for the love of fuck's sake, you can't take him in. Yeah, I can. 
I gotta make an arrest here. I had a complaint. Wait, 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 wait. I got the sports watch. You can have it here. Please hey. shut up. You don't wanna make any more trouble for yourself, son. I'll tell you what, you take your sports watch and you time how long it takes you to get your buddy out of jail, huh? You like that? I'll get you out, man. Right, I'll get you, I swear. You can count on me, all right? Hey, can I count on you to clean this shit up? Fuck. I'll get you out. I promise. Idiot. What the hell were you doing? I don't know. My buddy Valo, his stupid friend Naked Dave, thought it'd be a good idea to break bottles. Okay. Well, we know it's a bad idea now. What is the purpose of breaking bottles? I've been going through this problem with my girlfriend. She got fingered at the beach by some dipshit named Hellboy, and it's driving me insane. Hellboy. Picture a guy named Hellboy, and that's what he looks like. Well, you know, my wife, soon to be ex-wife, has been sleeping with a guy named Roger. Well, I'm on duty. So I, I understand your predicament a little bit, but it doesn't justify causing a public disturbance like this. I know. It's. I'm sorry, sir. It's. I should have been thinking. You know what? I'll see what we can do about this. If you could help me out, man, I'd appreciate it. I, it's like, this has been the worst week ever. Rye. Yo. I don't know how many times I could say this, but I'm seriously sorry. It's all good, man. All right? Yeah, it's fine. Yo, what was it like, though, being in jail for the first time? Was it good? Just drop it. Did you meet a new friend? Just drop it, all right? But yo, it was a good thing that cop got a divorce when he did because he could totally relate to your situation. He let you go at 7 a.m. I think that's pretty good. Lucky me. Yo, what are you doing? No scrapes ain't for you. Let me get a grape. Oh, you're not having these grapes? You're seriously not going to give me a grape? Yeah, there's one rolling down the street. How about me? Your grapes are at the store. These are my grapes. This jerk off invites everybody over. They want to eat all my stuff. Yo, you got to get your mind off this whole Glarin thing, all right? You want to go dig a hole, burn some wood or something? No, no. I'm gonna go watch some gay porn with Don Vito. Do what? Gay porn? What the hell are you talking about? Yo! Come here, yo! Yo, jerk off! Get the hell back here! You watch gay porn, Don Vito? I don't watch no fucking gay porn. This fucking kid's out of his mind. He's getting the fuck out of this house. Whoa! Oh, he's got nowhere to live. Jesus Christ, what the hell kind of idiot do I got here? Fuck, I got a bunch of fucking dopes that are hanging the fuck around here. Jesus Christ. Maybe you can use like your own ass. Get him on that, though. 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 Get him on
What the hell's all the ruckus in here? What the hell are you doing with your dick in your hand? I, I, I gotta call the fucking cops. This is crazy. I can't fucking live like this. Ahar, couldn't we sail the sloppy seas? <laughs> I'll tell you what you're going to do now. You're not going to bend me over, but let me tell you this. Why deny yourself some pleasure? Here, enjoy my hole, my cornhole. Fill it in. Mmm, I wouldn't mind if I would. Yeah, psych, I'm going to fuck you, baby. Look at that. I just threw on the brakes and now I'm right behind you. Mm, motherfucker, I ain't done. I got a 45 loaded full of motherfucking fun. Uh, let's fuck the front way. Uh, oh, oh my god, what my motherfucking maple? I'm going to stick my maple in your ass. I'll see you in Vienna. Yeah, yeah, I tell you how it goes when the boss rings around the collar. I'll fuck you so all day long. Yeah, you know what time it is in hometown? Time to get down and dirty, big boy. Yeah, I love to stir your ass with my cock scope. <laughs> I rule this motherfucker now. Quiet on the motherfucking set. You gotta get out, man. You've been sitting in this room for days. She says she got finger, but I know she got fucked. Trains and Nazis and Hellboy's sick dick. What? Take it. Go break into Glorin's house. Find whatever you can. Look in her drawers, look in her dirty laundry. Search everywhere, find whatever evidence you can. You and Falcone together. Yeah, I did that last time and got pissed on. No thanks. Go through her diary, find it, film every page. I want to read it with my own eyes. What's it gonna prove? I need this. If I know she got fucked, then I'll let go. I'll walk away. She's dating somebody named Hellboy for fuck's sake. I know this. I don't need you telling me. This is it. This is all I ask of you. Come on. Falcone's gonna want money again. I don't care. I'm good for the money. Just do it. I'll pay you double. Just please. I'll ask Falcone. If he's not down with it, I'm not doing it. Hello. <laughs> Let me guess, some sort of experiment? Experiment? I'd rather have wintergreen. What are you talking about? The TV. It's sideways. Why wouldn't it be sideways? I have to watch it with my neck straight, so I'm comfortable. If I watch it the other way, I'd have a taco neck, you know? Did you take acid? Yeah. Would a rab give it to you? Yeah, I got it from my buddy at school up in Shippens, Pia. Goddamn. Ryan wants us to fuck up Glarin's house again. Glarin's house? Vandalism? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but a little bit more investigative this time. He wants us to go into her house, find her diary to find out if she fucked Hellboy. <sighs> Let's make Rab the getaway driver. Can we go to the Phillies game? Rab is not driving. Come on, but now I could be the getaway driver. No, you're gonna get us caught. <laughs> Shut up. I wanna see this part. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the part. Give me a little, little chicken <laughs> wing, Falco. So I'm gonna get going, all right? Okay. Why don't you guys clean this shit up? Here, give me one of my, these green grapes. Earn your goddamn keep. They're right in front of you. So what? I can't reach the damn thing. Give me one of them. 
Have one of your goddamn girls around. No, they're giving me for pineapples. Any girls don't have to work like that. Now, come on, give me a break. Don't throw it. I'll kick your goddamn ass, Jesus boy. Christ. You're lucky you're even still living here. You threw the TV out in the goddamn lawn. Not it wasn't it. even my TV. It was yeah, but what are you doing? You're making a mess shit. here. Don't come in here and start a bunch of shit. Start a bunch of shit. Watch my TV. You're talking about goddamn nonsense. Yeah, because you're laying on the floor and jerk yourself off. That's why I got to walk into that bullshit. That's crazy. Let it go. Just call goddamn cops and have you put in a mental institution. What the hell did that girl do to you? Hello? Hey. How you doing? Fine. How are you? You know who this is? Right. I went out with you for two years. You think I'd know your voice by now? Then why'd you break up with me? I didn't. I said we needed some time apart. Then go to dinner with me. Uh, I don't know. You're gonna act all weird. How do you want me to fucking act? I'll toughen Neanderthal like goddamn Hellboy? Okay. Where did that come from? I'm sorry. Just go to dinner with me. I have something to show you. What? It's a surprise. Just come on. We're supposed to be friends, right? Of course we're friends. Where? Goosecock. Like five minutes. How about a half an hour? A half an hour is perfect. All right. Bye. I love you. Fuck. Do you have all the gear for tonight? Yeah, I got everything. I got the camera and everything. And what's up? You rap, hurry up. Little D, bad jacket die. Jack Dillard, he's first king of beef. Oh yeah, life goes wild. What are you doing, jerking off stale fish? You like this, huh? Technology shit? Look at this technology. We're going on a mission tonight. We're breaking in this house. Dude, he doesn't care. He's been playing this game for so long. I'm making technology of my own, huh? Reverse microwave. It's like, uh, oh, you don't have to cry because you're not involved. What is he talking about? You stayed in your rust tonight. Could have something, something on his side. Rab, seriously, hurry up. I just walk away. If you're not out in and two minutes, we're gonna leave your without you. Tonight. Just kill yourself. I'm almost done anyway. But what's more important is what we're doing with this. Huh? Look at this. Yeah, what are we gonna do with that? We're breaking into Glarin's house, huh? I heard she has a fake ass, and I'm going to prove it and show Ryan because he's such a pussy. Rob, listen, we're going to be in the garage. If you're not there in two minutes, we're leaving without you. Damn, that kid takes forever. What the hell is wrong with the door? Oh, you could say uh, he got into a little uh, fender bender. Yeah! Oh, the semi thing's huge. I can't even get in that way. It looks like the door's gonna fall off. <laughs> it's terrible. Is that tape all queued up? It's ready to go. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm recording, focus, and action. Tell me about like when we go inside. Tell me, uh, are we gonna go like, like through drawers? Yeah. What about like her panties? Can we like get her panties and like lick them and stuff? Ew, you're fucking sick. Hey, my love. What the fuck is wrong with your face? What? What? We're about to perform a highly legal break-in and you're on your way to a football game with your frat buddies is what? Come on, it's gonna be all right, my no, it's not. Don't touch me. I'll seriously kill your face so hardcore. Oh, come on, Bia. I fucking hate this kid. See, I told you you hated me. Shots of Hobnob Creek and a purple ass in my face, please. Okay. Oh, oh. 
Judge Galarin's house. Oh, wait, let's go to the speakeasy first so we can make it all perfect and we get something to eat too. What's the surprise? All right, you're gonna like this one. Oh my God, wow. You like it? Did you do that for me? You bet I did. I'd do anything for you. A thoughtful. So I was just thinking about our relationship and I thought you weren't gonna get all weird. I'm not getting all weird. Look, I just been thinking about things. Just just hear me out, okay? All right, so think of it this way, all right? You got fishermen that go out, you know, on the big boats with the tall... Sail? Sail. You know, they got fish, and some guys are better at it than the other guys, you know, but they make a living at it. All that fish, you know, it's not gonna hold on to your money and credit cards like a good old-fashioned brown leather wallet would. What? Because it's your wallet. Okay, let me get this straight. What you're trying to say is that our relationship may be old, but it still has something to it? You got it. Like, you know, our relationship wasn't that great. It's got some rough edges. We have to work on some things, but I think if we just work at them a little bit, put some elbow grease into it, you know, we can make stuff happen. Let's just start off, you know, I forgive you, you forgive me, clean slate, and we'll just go from there and see where it takes us. Yeah? Yeah. All right, I gotta go make a phone call real quick. All right. I'll be right back. with anything. I'm out to dinner with Glorin. Everything's going good. I'll call you later and tell you about it. Just don't do anything. Thanks, dude. All right, so listen. I think the best way to break in would be to pull up in front, have Rab wait. Hey, Rilo, can I get a shot of vodka at the speakeasy? Shut up. So listen. Pull up in front, we'll take the camera, we'll walk around back, it'll be... Hey, Rilo, can I get a sip of your Chardonnay at the speakeasy? You paint your face fluorescent yellow and you want a sip of my booze? Yeah. Fuck off. Now let me continue with no interruptions. So we'll climb out to the top where the bathroom is. Speaking of the bathroom, I got a little hunk of shit stuck in my belly. Well, then go figure it out, Rab. I don't know where it is at the speakeasy. All right, you know how to get outside? Yeah. You know the railroad tracks across the street? Stand right in the middle and just wait. Okay. Go. <sighs> what the hell's the matter with you? Huh? Did you ever want something more in life? Shut up. What, you been hanging out with Rye, huh? You been wiping his ass all over your brain? You sound fucked up, like you have been hanging out with him too long. He makes you never want to care about a girl, ever. So don't care. Don't end up like him being a fucking wet piece of pussy shit. I'll explain everything. I'll let you know. You'll be so much smarter. Girls are like a lake, you know? Like, you can jump right in and get in there, huh? And then you're all used to it and you think everything's great. But come wintertime, that shit's fucking frozen. Then you're fucked. That's why I know the difference. I always pull out. Huh? What are you talking about? This food is making you crazy. I had a really good time tonight. Yeah, so did I. Oh, um, I'll see you later, okay? All right. I'll call you when I wake up. <laughs> sure you will.
Let's go back to my place and I'm fucked. <laughs> Sounds good to me. In your pussy, if your pussy in your house. <laughs> all right, all right, enough. Let's go. All right, let's go. Always in time. Yes, I'm not doing what I should. <laughs> I know you're in love with him. But fuck him anyway. Where's your girl's secrets, huh? Sh- what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, this is so gross. Look at this shit. That's fucking disgusting. Get it out of here. Look at this. What is it? It's a diary. What a shit. This is what you need to be fucking around with dildos. Let me read this. Oh. He started to rip my pants off. I wanted him to fuck my ass so bad because Ryan never knew how to. That's why I have this vibrator next to this book. What was that? That was something. What was that? That was something. Let's go. Let's go in the go, 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 go. How good was that, man? That worked out perfect. We got the camera all in one. Shut the fuck up, asshole. 
Oh, perfect for you. How long were you gonna drive with me in the trunk? Well, we didn't have, we didn't want Hellboy chasing us. Yeah, you left them for me to kick my ass. I popped the trunk for you. Yeah, I popped the boner for you. Fuck you, I'm stuck in here. He told me to leave without telling you. I did not. We gotta go over to my house and show Ryan the tape. Call him up. Fucking call him up. I'll call him up from in here, huh? Hey, Ryan, are you in here? Let me call you from in the trunk since that's what I deserve. Go get in the car and let's go do this then. Don't Fuck. ride in the trunk, hop in with us, come on. Hop in with us. Fuck off. You left me in here before and ditched me. Next time you rat me out like that, I'm gonna punch you right in your face. He's my cousin. What's up, fellas? What are you all happy about? We just had a good dinner. <laughs> we went to dinner, we had a good time, we talked it over. You fool! <laughs> Look, the whole reason she didn't want to be with me is because I was out here doing this childish stuff with you guys, getting you guys to break in houses. Look, I appreciate you doing it for me. But that's the whole reason I was being an asshole. We forgave each other, and we're in love. <laughs> oh, okay, no, can I just play the tape? Play whatever you want, it doesn't matter. Okay, play. Just sit down, please. All right. For the love of fucking Christ, sit down. Play. I'm already telling you, it's not gonna change my mind. Nothing on that tape is gonna change my mind right now. We're just building you up. Fucking around with dildos. And? We're getting to the climax. Ryan, I've got her diary. Dear diary, just with scorched to sink, fires and perversion. It's so disgusting. Look at this shit. It's fucking disgusting. Get it out of here. Look at this. What is it? Oh, you're a mental fuck. My little popcorn, right? Did she just say you're a mental fuck? Oh, you're my dick, that baby. Oh, oh shit. Oh, hell, boy. Wait. <laughs> All right, turn it off. Turn it off. All right, I will. God damn, that sweaty bitch. <laughs> I knew that rancid bitch only wanted one more thing. That was a bigger dick. Or more. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going to kick Hellboy's ass. <laughs> all right, all right. Before you go and do that, Falcone and I figured out the best solution ever. I'm going to rip Hellboy a new asshole. No, I think Hellboy ripped Glarn a new asshole. Fuck you. Oh, come on. You just said how immature you were, and now you're doing it all over again. Okay, remember Cactus from Record Bin? Yeah. Just trust me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Look at them, they're going insane. What, is this something they do all day? They just fucking jump around up there. It's ridiculous. Just stay there. I'll tell you when to go. I see them better than you can. I'm so scared. What happens if I fuck up and they find out? Falco, <laughs> okay, grab that beer and take it up to him right now. Go. <laughs> Wait. Got beer. Hold on, guys. Yo. What the fuck are you doing here? Woo doo woo. Woo doo woo. I came to bring this to you. To see about you and your crew and what you guys are gonna do. What the fuck are you talking about? The news about Narkill. What about? <laughs> <laughs> What about them? Well, the new album's out, I already. Bullshit! That shit ain't coming out for fucking two weeks. I said my ears have heard it already. I went to record bid in town. What's the title track? Well, my favorite title track is Handicap, Hands Out. Woo woo. Right, you could have heard it tonight, but they already fucking closed. You're gonna have to hear that in the morning, bro. <laughs> in the meantime, take this shit. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, buddy. enjoy. And don't forget the other classics, like the one you heard, Jurassic. Fuck is this small metal around here, dude? Fuck. Yeah, have a up, boy.
Listen, what do you dopes want now? Where's Ryan? Ryan? I just caught him jerking off a little while ago. So he's probably still in the bathroom. I don't know what the hell. Get the hell away from the grapes. I told you that the other day. Stay away from my goddamn grapes. You're not having none of these. No, you just stay away from these grapes. Why can't you just share yeah, these grapes? Here. Because of my grapes. I said, go to the store and get the grapes. I can at least count 200 in that little bunch. You won't even give me I mean, fucking all the grapes. Them. I like grapes. If you like grapes, you go to the store. Both of you. Here, go see, go see your friend. Because he ain't living here much longer. Get the hell away from my grapes, I told you. you goddamn pigs. Damn, why is Don Vito such a bitch about grapes? Yeah. Don Vito's a whore about grapes. Oh, dude, you smell like an onion right now. Oh, it's the foot. Ugh. Oh, is that you? Listen, you're not allowed to be bummed out anymore because what we just did worked out perfect. <sighs> Tell him how Hellboy's in for it. Oh, you know Hellboy? He is in for it. Oh yeah, he is in a world of shit. Let me tell you, I've got a plan working. Tomorrow, you gotta meet us at the payphone. The one you always call uh, Glarn from, you know, so she doesn't know where you're calling from. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, meet us there for real because everything is going to work out and you will be smiling tomorrow, I promise. It's already in the works right now. Can't go wrong. Just make sure you're there at 11. Quit being a bitch about it. What a pussy. The city. Man, I'm not buying this fucking poof. This shit, you gotta be kidding me. Damn, I've just seen the world of fire. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, wreck I've been. What at uh, You guys uh, got the new Narkill CD? Yeah, of course we got Narkill, you moron. They fucking rule. Oh, yeah? Well, I think they fucking suck. Woo de doo doo. Obviously, you're a freaking pea brain, man, because they have the ultimate ban, and if you say one more thing, I'll pull your fucking face off! Oh, yeah, you think so? Well, let me tell you this, motherfucker. I heard him, and I heard the new single. Beat off to the tune of my drum, and I'll come in your back door and in your ass. I'll be right in there, look at my heavy metal hair. I'll be swinging it fast. Dude, bring your fucking long haired face down here so I can pull it off! You're a dead man! I'll be right in, motherfucker. Gotta get in there. <laughs> oh. You're fucked. What? Straight from the top of the bone. Uh, 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 uh.
What's up, boy? Yo, what's up, baby? I need a skateboard immediately. At Chestnut and Church. Now, baby. All right. Where you go, man? I know. It looks like a big pile of shit. Oh, you think it's broke? It feels like it's broken. Fucking hellboy. Who drives a black taxi anyway? Black taxi? What else would I drive? <laughs> a gay van? <laughs> This is so perfect. Refrigerators mean Freon mean motherfucking diamonds for me. <laughs> I can't believe this is so fucking perfect to happen to me, huh? Right now, who am I to enjoy this, huh? I'm going to stick the Freon up the asses of those other motherfuckers that think they can make anything better than what I'm going to bring to them. <laughs> oh, 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 such pussies, huh? I can see you right now, huh? I can see all of you. Oh. This is the future now, you're looking at it. You and me, huh? Feel these fucking titties on your face. I would love to make you and me one thing famous in history. We could do it together, but I have to find the last final element.
everybody. Welcome to the invention of the future contest. It's our second annual contest to you. And I want to thank everyone especially for coming out today. Now, every year you, you all know that thousands of local contestants just like yourself come on out here and they make an invention that will change the world as we know it. We've narrowed it down to two finalists. <laughs> all right, girl, here. Now, the first invention is the reverse microwave. But the second is just as good, just as impressive. The garbage juicer. What will it be? Well, you'll have to wait. <laughs> well, you'll have to wait. And last but not least, my own personal invention, the his or her sex machine. <laughs> you know I'm kind of fat, so I don't get any pussy. <laughs> How the hell will you know that he's going to... Will you tell him to shut the fuck up? This year's first prize is a beaut... A beautiful diamond mountain bike made of authentic, genuine diamonds dug right out of coal mine holes. The diamond bike will be ridden home for first prize. Second prize is nothing. <laughs> you shit ass out. <laughs> Well, I'm not, because I'm walking out here anyway and going to get some pussy on my machine. <laughs> All right, now let us begin the invention of the future contest. <laughs> now, let's let the judging begin. This is my invention. Uh, I call it the his or her sex machine. <laughs> it's my personal favorite, of course. Seriously, knock that shit off. I'm gonna punch your throat off your body. I'm walking over here, and if you follow me, I'm gonna kill you. And what it does is to, uh, you know, when you're home alone on those lonely nights, you can get deep into a girl's favorite spot. You know what I'm saying? You can really work and get in there, and you don't even have to spend money on dinner or any of that. And let's say you like the back door, well, it's wide open. Go on in. You don't even have to knock. But that's not all. You want the real, authentic feeling of a woman, huh? Well, you yank that ponytail and get down and dirty. But wait a second. I haven't forgotten the ladies. No. Inside. Who's the sex thing up there? They're gonna make a sausage and make your fucking dick Some get bigger? I don't know what the hell they're meat? coming up with. It's meat Jesus on Christ. It. Oh. Now, girls, you can just squat up and down all over this thing, and I'm sure you're gonna love every second of it. And if you want to pull the ponytail, hey, maybe we're going out with a long hair guy, hey? Well, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, I'm ready to fucking call the goddamn cops and get the hell out of here. These people are nuts. Look at them. The garbage juicer. Now, how it works is quite incredible. You just take garbage out of any old garbage bag, whatever. I think those are the most innovative people I have ever seen. Are you kidding me? That's the most asinine shit I've ever seen apart from that getaway ass fuck machine. Look at that. It's getting go. When them lights go on, it's good and ready to go. You're just jealous. You didn't come up with that idea. Yeah, Let's see what I'm jealous. That's what I am. Oh, look at that. And the first is kerosene. You can use kerosene to burn your sweet mama's panties off. Look what's next. Oh, now that, I can smell, that's root beer, right? Great for Friday night pizza party, hey, uh-huh. And last but not least, you gotta get going in the morning. And there it is, grapefruit juice. And it is great, huh? Not great, but great. <laughs> root beer and grapefruit juice. And then they're gonna mix it with gasoline? Jesus Christ, who the hell comes up with this stupid shit? Oh, I'm just gonna wet my loins. I love this one, it's pretty good. Did I miss anything? Oh no, nothing really. This guy over here is just... Oh wait, 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 hold on one second. They're about to introduce the reverse microwave. I really feel like it's the best invention in the last 200 years. Here we have the reverse microwave. Now what it does is to bring icy technology from... Are you aware that over 70% of Freon is found in old-fashioned refrigerators? How did you know that? Because I am Falcone's partner. But I stay away from all the fanfare and fame. I just let him have the spotlight. Very humble. Hey, so get away from me, seriously. Come on, I got lights in and down. Are you gonna keep your mouth shut? So let's say you're all out of ice and you need something like that because everyone's coming over to... Well, anyway, let's just show you. You open the door, take some liquid water, Sticker inside. Reverse microwave. Any cold second. food and make it fucking colder? I'm not just stick it in the refrigerator. Oh, yes, indeed it works. Ice. Look at that. You can't go wrong with the reverse microwave. <laughs> and the winner is, oh, I'm so nervous about this. Every year we go through the same old goddamn thing and I can't control myself. I'm right about to read it. The winner is, how oh, it's me. The reverse microwave Falcon Falcon. I hope he flies that one. Come on up here. 
Are you kidding me? I told you. All right, well, we gotta go. We're gonna get ready for the after party. Are you coming? Yeah, I'm coming. All right, so we'll see you later. Zinfandel, Schminfandel, you almost fucked up my game, Rab. Join us next year and be a contestant yourself for the invention of the future contest. <laughs> and come sign up with me, Jack the Foot. Huh? All right. You're going to the Clients of the Future contest and you didn't go. I've been hanging out with my new friend. Heather, this is Ballo. Hi, nice Hi, to meet you. you. Can I talk to you for a minute? Here, can you hold this on? Who the fuck is that? Remember the other day when we were running from Hellboy? I came out of an alleyway, this black taxi smacked into me. I just climbed inside because it was my only option. My leg is bleeding, she put some Neosporin on, I worked the sympathy angle. We've been hanging out ever since. Are you over Glorin? Look at her, of course I am. Are you sure you're over Glorin? Yes! All right, well, good luck, because here she comes. Hey, I thought I'd find you here. I heard Falcone won the contest. Yeah, yeah, he's over there. He's got this uh, diamond bike. You should go check it out. I'm not here to talk to him. Look. Now they have that thing off, I was thinking that maybe you and I could patch everything up. Are you serious? Not what you calls me. What were you saying? What were you saying? The other night at dinner when you said we could work everything out, you know, the wallet, it all made sense to me. I think that we can. No! What do you mean, no? You said you'd do anything for me the other night. I think I was drunk and rather stupid, so just get over it. Fuck off. Me fuck off. Fuck off! Fuck you! Every time we go out, it's a problem with you. Always running your mouth. Every time you're grinding on some girl's ass. All I said was that I thought she was sexy. I don't know why you're freaking out of it. Uh, There's your honey right now. Why don't you talk to her? Honey? Why don't you just go home and finger pop her? Yes, mate, what can I get you? Two shots filled to the brim with alcohol. You alright there, mate? Yeah, no. Yeah, no? Yeah. What the hell? Ah, uh, she's naked, Dave. Ah, uh, friend of yours? Looks like you got girl problems or something. Mm -hmm. My buddy was having girl problems. I was helping him out for three goddamn weeks. Next thing you know, I see him up there with some hot ass girl. And my other dipshit who won the Appliance of the Future contest is walking around with a diamond mountain bike. And I invited a girl here, and she didn't show up, and therefore I'm drinking. Oh, man. Give me a dick lord about it, do you know what I mean? It's just love. And if you ain't got love, you ain't got shit. I mean, you could be up to your spuds and bitch me every day, but that ain't love, that's just shagging loads of birds. Mm -hmm. Now, right, Clifford? Right. Love is shit, man. Yeah. Sure. Well, Daddy, any more out of you and you're gonna be picking your teeth up with broken fingers, right? You're looking like such a lily pad for anyway. There's loads of birds in there just dying for it up them and you're sat there like a sad twat. But it's not the girl that I invited here. You gotta drain your balls either way, mate. Yeah, sort it out, man, do you know what I mean? I am. You're right. Sorry, I'm really bad with names. It's Fallow. Hi. 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 
Hi, I'm so glad you're here. I'd get a chance to give you a congratulations on the win. I better come clean. I had nothing to do with it. I just wanted to impress you. I know. Beth told me. I'm not mad, though. Stay right here. I'm gonna go tell my friend that I'm getting out of here. Okay. Stay right here. All right. Yo, I'm taking off, all right? All right. I just met some random down there. I think I like her. Good luck. All right. Nice to meet you, Heather. Nice to meet you, too. I'll call you tomorrow. Night. Go. Uh, we can go to my house. My parents aren't home. My brother's there, but he doesn't care. All right. See you tomorrow. <laughs> God damn. I don't know him. Right. So how far do you live? Um, about four blocks. It's not too far. All right. Did you have fun tonight? Yeah, I did, but I was a little bit nervous that you weren't going to show up, but after that, it was great. <laughs> How do you end up with Hellboy's sister? <laughs> I cannot believe you end up with Hellboy's sister of all the girls. Oh man. Are you love lover still? Hellboy's sister. I was so into her too. It sucks so bad. <laughs> what about Ryan? Is he over Glarin? Oh, he's definitely over Glarin, but he's doing the same thing with this new girl. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming at all. <laughs> this is so bad. I gotta. I have a mountain bike and he gets bad. Oh, let's go to the bakery. I need to eat this off. <laughs> Psychotic dress, the senseless feature. Terrifies every living creature. Predictability. 
Much money and you're not even good to pay, huh? Pussy pussy, huh? I've been driving dreams so sweet, so be nightmares. So what are you doing in here anyway? Huh? You lots of pay more down. attention to the girls you got in the tub and less attention to me. I'm brushing my teeth. Yeah, but you shouldn't even be coming in here. Dude, it's eight o'clock in the morning, I gotta go to work. Yeah, but what the hell? Can't you get up earlier? You see, I'm having a goddamn party in here. You gotta Who has a party with girls in the tub at 8 o'clock in the morning? What about your it's girlfriend? Tuesday. She's running around doing the whole goddamn town. What do you do to them? You can't get two nice ones like this? Do you want to die? Die? How I swear I to die? God, I'm going to freak out right you're now. You're going to freak out on what? You come to fucking here and jerk yourself off, and then you're gonna, I got to walk into that kind of shit? You're going to tell me you're going to kill me? That's bullshit. Don Vito, do me a favor. Shut up. You <laughs> shut up. You're going to tell me to shut the fuck up. I'm going to get out of this tub. But you'll probably fucking jerk me the hell off. So I'm fucking not getting out. I gotta sit in here till you leave. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my fingers gotta smell so bad. Oh, shit. Oh, dude. Do you need to have milk? We need some more tape.